Three people have been killed in two separate incidents in Baringo and El Geomaraquet counties over the last 24 hours. Two suspected livestock thieves were lynched in Kabimoy and Esageri villages in Eldamaravin, Baringo County, on Saturday morning. Tension remains high in the two villages as armed gangs stage retaliatory attacks on suspected livestock thieves who had terrorized residents of the area for one month and torched three houses in Kambia. Moto. As Miriam Yambura reports, one person was killed by bandits in Elgil Maraquet Friday night. Kambiamoto in Rongai, Nakuru County. Three houses that belonged to three brothers were set ablaze and household items destroyed in broad daylight. A mob of more than 500 people from the neighboring Eldamaravin sub county in Baringo County ferried using motorbikes in groups of threes descended on the parcel of land, claiming the owners are behind livestock theft in their area. The hostile mob blocking residents, firefighters and police officers from accessing the home before they accomplished their mission. Tension remained high for the better part of Saturday in the villages of Kabimoy, Esageri, Sagat and Gobich in Eldamaravin, Baringo County, where two suspected livestock thieves were hunted down and lynched by an irate mob in Gobich area. Another suspect was attacked and is currently receiving treatment. Residents say the robbers have caused them sleepless nights for one month. The suspects staged attacks at night. The villagers say they have been holding vigil to keep the thieves at bay. They claim more than 700 livestock have been stolen in a span of one month. Elsewhere, tension is high in Kaben area, Maraquet East sub-county, Elgeo Maraquet County. After bandits invaded the area and killed a man Friday night, according to the Elgeo Maraquet chief officer in charge of peace, Lawrence Mutwal, the bandits were on a revenge mission after another man from West Pokot was killed by unknown people in Chebilil area, Maraquet East. Mirianyambura, Citizen TV.